The limitations of electric vehicles as we know today are largely due to the current battery technology, which relies on liquid electrolytes and graphite anodes. These components have low energy density, high degradation, and safety risks. That's why many researchers and companies are looking for alternatives, such as solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries use solid electrolytes and lithium metal anodes, which can offer higher energy density, longer lifespan, and better safety. However, solid-state batteries are not without challenges. One of the main challenges is how to deal with the lithium metal anode, which tends to form dendrites or needle-like structures that can pierce the electrolyte and cause short circuits. This can reduce the performance and safety of the battery and limit its scalability and manufacturability. To overcome this challenge, QuantumScape, a leading developer of solid-state battery technology, has come up with a novel solution, a new cell format called FlexFrame. So, what exactly is FlexFrame, and what does it bring to the EV industry? Join us as we discuss how QuantumScape's new FlexFrame battery cell will change EVs forever. FlexFrame is a revolutionary battery design that combines the best of both worlds, the flexibility of a pouch cell and the rigidity of a prismatic cell. It aims to achieve a breakthrough in battery performance by simplifying the structure and reducing the weight of the cell. A pouch cell is a series of anode, separator, and cathode layers stacked on top of one another and encased in a flexible laminate material, often called a pouch, made of plastic and aluminum, in a prismatic cell. The individual layers of the battery are either stacked like a deck of cards or wound up and then pressed flat to fit into the cell casing. Prismatic cells are particularly useful in EVs because they can be packed tightly next to each other without wasting space, giving them excellent packing efficiency. These two cells have their disadvantages, but QuantumScape has found a way around these disadvantages, more on that later. The FlexFrame battery has two main components, a metal frame that surrounds the edge of the cell stack and a thin layer of polymer laminate that covers the front and back of the cell. The polymer laminate is similar to the material used in conventional pouch cells but is much thinner and lighter. The cell stack consists of multiple layers of electrodes and separators, which store and release electrical energy. When the cell is manufactured, it does not have any anodes, which are the negative electrodes. The cell stack is also in its smallest size, with a gap of about a millimeter between the frame and the cell face. As the cell is charged for the first time, the anodes are formed by depositing pure lithium metal on the current collectors, which are thin metal sheets that connect the electrodes to the external circuit. This process causes the cell stack to expand and push the polymer laminate outward. When the cell is fully charged, the cell face reaches the same level as the frame, creating a smooth and flat surface. The FlexFrame battery has several advantages over conventional battery designs. First, it can accommodate the expansion and contraction of the cell stack without compromising the integrity of the cell. Second, it can dissipate heat more efficiently during fast charging, as the metal frame acts as a heat sink and the polymer laminate allows heat to escape. Third, it can operate with or without external pressure, as the frame provides structural support and the polymer laminate prevents gas leakage. Fourth, it can enable high volume production and easy integration into battery packs as the frame simplifies the assembly and connection of the cells. Fifth, it can achieve high energy density, as the frame and the polymer laminate reduce the weight and volume of the cell. The edge of the cell stack features a thin layer of polymer laminate that covers the front and back of the cell. This polymer laminate is similar to the material used in conventional pouch cells but is much thinner and lighter. Flex frame is designed to work with or without external pressure. Depending on the application needs, if pressure is required, it can be applied to the front of the cell while heat is removed from the sides of the frame. This allows the cell to be cooled and compressed simultaneously, enhancing its performance and safety. However, if pressure is not needed, the cell can still function well without it. QuantumScape has demonstrated this with data from single-layer cells showing that the lithium metal platform can achieve long cycle life with no external pressure. FlexFrame is designed to operate under these conditions, making it suitable for various scenarios. FlexFrame is also a smart battery cell design that can leverage existing tools and materials in the battery industry. As previously mentioned, it is a hybrid of conventional prismatic and pouch designs but has unique features that make it superior to both. The exterior polymer laminate material is similar to what is used in conventional lithium-ion pouch cells but is much thinner and lighter. It can also stretch and bend as the cell expands and contracts while preventing gas and liquid leakage. The frame provides the cell with good mechanical stability typically provided by the module for a conventional pouch cell. It also acts as a heat sink, 
drawing heat away from the cell layers and allowing it to escape from the sides. When assembling the cell, the company can use conventional stacking and sealing techniques, facilitating high-volume manufacturing. Unlike cylindrical cells, flex-frame cells can fit snugly next to one another with minimal wasted volume, enabling higher overall pack energy density compared to cylindrical cell formats. The energy density of a battery cell depends not only on the chemistry but also on the packaging. According to QuantumScape, a good cell design should aim to reduce the amount of dead weight and wasted volume taken up by other inactive materials, such as the cell casing, and increase the amount of active materials, the part of the cell that stores energy. This packaging efficiency is essential for achieving high energy density at the cell level, and the flex frame battery cell design considers this aspect. It uses lightweight pouch cell material and a low-profile frame that add minimal overhead to the cell. As a result, QuantumScape estimates that its new cell design can deliver an energy density above 800 WH per liter in Q5, its planned 5-amp-hour cell, with significant room for improvement in a higher capacity design. QuantumScape is convinced that solid-state lithium metal batteries are the future of electric transportation, and the flex-frame architecture is its vision for that future. It addresses the unique challenge of lithium metal expansion, a key hurdle for any lithium metal system. It also boasts an elegant design that can offer good thermal performance and efficient packing at the module level while enabling high energy density at the cell level. Importantly, it is designed to allow for rapid mass manufacturing using materials and processes similar to those used at scale in today's battery industry. FlexFrame is a battery cell design that combines simplicity, efficiency, and performance with the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle market. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section. QuantumScape is convinced that solid-state lithium metal batteries are the future of electric transportation, and the flex-frame architecture is its vision for that future. It addresses the unique challenge of lithium metal expansion, a key hurdle for any lithium metal system. It also boasts an elegant design that can offer good thermal performance and efficient packing at the module level while enabling high energy density at the cell level. Importantly, it is designed to allow for rapid mass manufacturing using materials and processes similar to those used at scale in today's battery industry. FlexFrame is a battery cell design that combines simplicity, efficiency, and performance, with the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle market. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.